Hey guys, this is Max Life Science, the first video clip of this channel. Uh, so welcome to my channel, guys. Um, let's jump right into it. Who am I, and what is the goal? So yeah, I I wanted to build this channel for a long time. Um, my name is Max, by the way. Uh, I wanted to do this channel, this life, uh, life science channel, uh, sort of talk about the mysteries in life, uh, talk about, talk about things that we don't question so much. We we we're all busy with our life, right, and going around. But we, I mean, there's a lot of cool questions I think that we should ask them, or at least ask. Um, and yeah, well, I'm gonna take out take, gonna talk a little bit about. Um, what those questions are uh, how does the the category of life science uh, from the perspective of this channel look like how what will we talk about in, in terms of life channel um, and technology as well um, but yeah let's let's go forward um, so I studied at the Royal Institute of Technology Cote d'Ivoire in Sweden uh, in Stockholm uh, I studied the information technology um, with a master of AI and machine learning and big data. So basically how to build big systems and how to analyze advanced patterns and build machine learning solutions, build AI, um, reinforcement learning and whatnot to do all different types of analysis <laughs> and outcomes. Um, this was one of the greatest moments of my life going through this education. I had a, a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I also studied, uh, or I also uh, worked at Ericsson for three years while I was studying, uh, developing programs to the testers and yeah, different types of programs. I uh, also worked there uh, on the summer and stuff like that. But after three years, I wanted to try something else, so I started out my company, my own company. Uh, I I ran that for three years. Um, had a good income. Uh, it was it was nice, uh, but. Uh, after a while, I felt that the flow of uh, the flow the flow of jobs, the, what the what the market had, it wasn't my. I wanted to do more AI. I wanted to focus full time on AI, and I wanted to focus full time on this as well. So, what is the focus? <laughs> what is the goal? What do we want to focus on on this channel? Well, we have two pillars of this channel. We have life science, and we have technology. And I want to try to combine those two. I want to try to incorporate, well, two of the most, um, I think, interesting areas of, uh, of of the world to talk about is these two pillars: life science and technology. Well, science in general, but yeah, life science. I think that we there's a lot of questions here. We have to ask <laughs> the pyramids, flower of life, vortex math, old scriptures. I mean, there's as we're gonna see on the the pictures coming, I, I mean, this it just feels like there's something here, and there's something that we haven't answered, right? It's something, something left. In the big picture, not everything is adding up. It feels like, and technology-wise, well, we're gonna we're gonna build a a project from scratch. Well, I'm gonna sort of have this incorporate this channel from like the start, uh, from the beginning, from how to hopefully how to build a successful channel. Uh, with the uh, um, well, website and uh, a program that you could follow, my development in this program, and we're going to talk about in the end what that program will be. I'm going to show you a little bit of how it start, how it looks like right now. But yeah, let's dive into the, the first pillar, life science. Let's talk a bit about what, what kind of questions will we ask there and what kind of things will be brought up. So this is an interesting place, right? Stonehenge. I think everybody has heard about Stonehenge. Interesting things, very interesting things too. Both the location on Earth, where they placed it, where they exactly placed it. We're gonna talk why. Uh, also, how they placed it. Also, the materials of the stone, what they placed, and we're gonna go into much more depth in the in the in the specific clips which regard this. But I mean, there's there's a lot of funny things around regarding this, isn't it? Like some of the stones, I think some of the biggest stones, they are like they, they cannot even be found in Britain. I don't I, I don't recall the exact material of those stones. I think some of the stones in the pyramids is limestones. I don't know if exactly that, but there's a different 
types of stones which they placed in a specific pattern and i think it's quite interesting especially when you look at how the also the the sun and the stars is moving and the moon and different season and uh, it's, it's pretty cool and how this is aligned with the with this with the sun as well in different periods of the year i mean the, these things occur in many different places this is from spain as well and i mean we have in sweden uh, we have different places as well so it's like well our ancestors they <laughs> put a lot of effort in the, putting up stones <laughs> why and then, <laughs> then we have all well another stone structure right the pyramids i think this is my or inca send me my uh, this is from mexico i think um yeah i think all of these all uh, people know the pyramids of Giza, right? Uh, this is how they speculate that it looked like when they actually built it. So this is limestone, and this is uh, yeah. Uh, talking about that, well, maybe it had a golden top. Why is that? Well, the interesting thing with this stone, uh, it's also in the same case that the stone cannot be found anywhere close to where it's built but the stone here we have limestone this material and this limestone is one of the most conducting um, stones that is out there for electricity it's quite interesting and it's also maybe explains why we have this golden top like we want to push oh sorry we want to push this whatever it is <laughs> whatever the question we are going to ask whatever the answer is what it what it can there be like a pushing of electrons up this way? Well, we're gonna ask the question, we're gonna look around. Uh, it's very interesting how they align the stars as well. That's, hmm. Okay, so we have, we have, we have uh, different places on Earth. I think even uh, with like Atlantic City between them as well. But now China, for example, Mexico, Egypt, we have the same, we have, we have pyramids. And the funny thing is, is they also, build them in the same alignment with the stars as is the mathematical impossibility of coincidence i think uh, interesting thing is that if you go back in time to where, where uh, so the 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 spin is of course changing um, like a little bit a little bit so the the when you, if you want to go back in time where the stars align perfectly with the pyramids mm -hmm. well then all of these pyramids seems to be built in the exact time as well so then you go back and i think uh, i think uh, if you want to go back to the exact alignment then it's twelve thousand five hundred years ago i think uh i gotta when we come to that chapter we're gonna have the exact number but it's quite interesting and they say what what are you saying like five thousand years ago well I think if you it, the, the little angle that is off and if we make that angle fit perfectly well then it's more reasonable <laughs> that it's 12 years. I talk about this we're going to talk about how how, this, how they have found water flows behind uh, um, under these um, different pyramids also in the pyramids of Giza they say that the, the Neil right and the, the, um, yeah, the water also ran under it as well uh, has questions like these uh, we have to ask them we have to ask them. Um, the interesting thing with this as well is that well this is a funny pattern right oh so they have this <laughs> these things are built on specific locations which align pretty cool right yeah gonna ask the questions yeah this is an interesting chapter, I think. Um, people that know, that know. <laughs> but it's an interesting, I, I, I mean, this, uh, this, uh, I just look at the picture. This, this pine cone comes up in many different ancient cultures and scriptures and whatnot, statues and, yeah. Why is that there? People that know what they know, but we have to ask questions, right? I'm gonna look at old scriptures as well. Um, 
they put a lot of detail and a lot of work into these scriptures and some of them reoccur in the same sort of way um, I just think bad and wise we have to ask questions right what is this this, well, this is the second wheel right and what is he trying to explain there or well, this this wheel this this magical cylindrical shapes what is he trying to tell us and this is also pretty cool right well if they built this thing god my uh if they did this well what were they trying to tell us <laughs> yeah and we're gonna look at old rune carvings like this as well I'll look at Egypt carvings. Uh, I mean, this is just for the fun, but uh, yeah, we're gonna look at different sort of carvings. We're gonna try to. Uh, I mean, this is this is great. Our ancient ancestors they left. They did a lot of work leaving all of this scriptures behind. What are they trying to tell us? It's like they found something, right? And they want to tell us. They spend a lot of effort in trying to tell us, but question is do we know or do we don't know did they know something that we have forgotten right? we're going to talk about time we're going to talk about tarot we're going to talk about how not how time flows i don't think anybody knows that but we're going to talk about it we're going to try to dive down into it we're going to try to ask questions we're going to try to well think about it I'm going to talk about Tarot. I think it's quite interesting, especially when we come to that chapter. How um, I don't think, in my opinion, that randomness exists. I think it's mathematically impossible. I think it. I think when you understand that, well, randomness doesn't exist, then the meaning is the only thing that does exist. And even though it's quite hard to ex understand a meaning, but think about it yourself. If you have randomness involved in time, then suddenly. You know, a plane can just pop out of nowhere <laughs> it's explode in front of your eyes right no no time is more like i don't know like blockchain uh, it's, it's sort of like a tree right it builds from something meaning it spreads out flow we're going to talk about crystals guys we're going to talk about stones we're going to talk about vibrations we're going to talk about we're going to talk about herbs we're going to talk about medicine we're going to talk about nature's medicine uh, then we arrive at one of the pillars that I maybe think that some I don't know mainly not mainly but I think this is one of the great pillars I think yeah we're going to talk about AI a lot of in this channel as my master is focused on AI machine learning and big data we're going to talk a lot about this so we're going to even we're going to bring up news we're going to try to stay stay in the front of AI we're going to try to understand what is happening in the world of AI and what is the what is the new things that's coming out, what is on the horizon, what are they talking about, what are they trying to do. Um, yeah, we're going to build AI in this channel as well. We're going to talk about how to build, what, what should you think about when you build, how should you do it, what is an environment, how do you create an environment, what is a reinforcement learning agent, um, what is actually reward, <laughs> what is actually reward, I had, that you can think about, what is reward, that is a what tells you when you pick up an apple and you um, take a bite at it? And maybe not everybody likes an apple, but <laughs> what tells you that you actually like that? Basically, we're going to talk about how to build an AI, and this is the project. This is, uh, I think, uh, I am, I'm really excited about this, and I have some background as well. We're going to take a step back and we're going to talk about this a little bit more in depth, but this is the project which I want to build. I want to build a boat and I have some history and some background why I want to build this. So mm -hmm. I want to build this this boat I call Blue. Um, the the meaning and the purpose of this boat is to, uh, well, we're gonna, we're gonna build a software that you can use place on Google Maps, for example, and you will sort of say that, well, here is a base. And then uh, we're gonna say that, oh, we want like 10 of these boats. And we're gonna take an area that we're gonna focus on and we try to optimize that area. Optimize in terms of cleaning. Uh, so we're both gonna go around and uh, map the whole area with sonar. And then we're gonna, oh, sorry. And then we're gonna, meanwhile, we're gonna have 
AI and machine models that will actually learn over time how to place algae, fish food, coral seas, and how to clean the oxygen. So maybe like find different flows in the water currents that you can put, that you can align yourself with, and you also have some um, uh, some fish, um, some what do you call it? like a lot of fish groups, <laughs> fish steams. I know a lot of fish is coming into the area. <laughs> you sort of have optimized that if I stay here, I stay in the, here in this flow, and I put down some oxygen and some algae. Soon these fishes will come in on there because another boat further ahead saw them come. I you know they will learn to optimize the area. So I think it's pretty good, cool. So trying to find these places so we have the the vegetation that's good, that the soil is good, and we have fishes that like the place, stuff like that. Where we should put. So let's jump over to. Oh let, no, let's do like this first. Let's go to this. So we have a website started. That's just a really basic. I just put up this picture just to have something. And we're gonna do something. Uh, maybe you will see much more the next episode or the episode after that but we have, have a sort of an intro to this website how you should click around to go to different places on this website with both uh, life science and on this uh, how to follow this project but this is my this is my sample place guys um, so let's talk a bit about, about my background so my grandfather my grand grandfather they were fishermen and they lived here on Hamna as it's called in Sweden uh, so they were out every morning putting down fish nets, uh, grabbing up uh, fish nets. I think they had like a 150 in circulation. Uh, so it's, it's very cool. It's very cool. So I'm going to show you. So this is the area. So this is the island. Uh, so this is our fishing water here. And out here as well. So this is where they went each morning. Put down the nets. Took up nets. Yeah. So, my thoughts about the project is that, well, if it goes really good in the future, <laughs> we'll maybe can take it from a simulation to something else. Well, but at the beginning, we should sort of simulate that if we build a base, and I want to build a base here, but this is just dreams, but you know, you gotta dream it. So if the dream is possible, I'm going to make it virtually in the software first, but then we want to build a base here. And then I want to have a, I want to have a development place here, testing place here, and then a, a the, like, re, what do you call it? Like filling up the stocks here, going in, filling up the algae, fish food, stuff like that, and go back out. It's pretty good. We have that. We have that right out there to do it. So this is a, like a big, what you should call it, like boat highway almost. So this is quite good. So they will, they will go down here and try to optimize this place. So I will freeze sort of the, the variables, in, or excuse me, the variables in this area. Just to freeze it. Yeah, the flow of water will, in real case scenario, they will flow through. But we will see, we will try to freeze this area of water, this area and this uh, volume. And then we will see how long and uh, how much it actually affects if we have X amount of boats uh, going about each day. So you will sort of be able to go into my site and then you will go be able to come into my view like this on the, on the virtual simulation of this. And you will see different boats where they are and you can press them and, <laughs> and then you, yeah, you, can, uh, you can see how much they've cleaned, how much the route they've taken and all the data that are collected and stuff like that. So pretty cool. Let's see what we get. Let's, let's show the software how long I, how far I came so far. Now you started it. Pretty cool. So this is just one cell. So think about this as when you, I don't know if this is the graphic that we we'll use, but it is to get a start. Uh, so this is, you will, for example, you press a boat and then you will come down to a cell like this. You will sort of have the, the, the visualization of what, what is, what is it actually seeing? What is, how is the bottom? How's the bottom looking? And we will also, we will create the whole bottom when we start and we will try to create it after what we see on the Google Maps as well. We'll try to find a sort of good ground the tops. Yeah, I'll try to end this, uh, finish up this clip, but I want to show you this. I think it's pretty cool, pretty fun. 
so yeah we simulate some bottoms some vegetation some fish now this use fishes is going a little bit randomly but uh, yeah we would have ai for fishes to pick up food and we will try to simulate everything like real variables but yeah so this is a little bit about max life science um, if you feel that this is something that um, you also have questions about and if you feel that well well, it's actually nice to look at you, Max, and see what you want to talk about. So if you want to, this first clip, if you want to subscribe, like, uh, the bell bottom, I don't know. You choose. You, it's your life. It's your life, your time. You choose. You know what's best. Um, but it was fun to talk to you guys. And if you follow along this clip so far, well, nice. Really cool, man. Really cool. I will leave that off. We have a, on YouTube, we have Rumble, we have, yeah. Welcome to the channel, guys.